Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nick Haris Mustaqim bin Nima Haris. My metric number is 207622. And this is my individual assignment video for MTH 3701 Group 1 Financial. And the problem that I'm going to present today is problem sheet 4, question number 6. Let me zoom a little bit. All right, as you can see, that is the question uh, from uh, that, it, that is given to me, which is question number six from problem sheet four. A bank advertised an account opening that earns 1.6% for the first six months, 1.8% for the second six months, 2% for the third six months, and 2.2% for the fourth six months. Find the effective annual rate of interest for the account. So the keyword here is effective annual rate of interest for the account. We know that the formula for effective annual rate of interest R is equals to one plus I over N in bracket power of N minus one. And we also know from the question, there are four six month period. So that means when we add all of them together, that will add up into two years. So N is equals to two because we know that he, this question wanted us to find the annual rate of interest. So N is equal to two because four months add up into two years. So we will take N as two years from now on. And the I is also given in the question. It is very straightforward. We have 1.6%, 1.8%, 2%, and so 2.2%. So we already have all of the information that we needed in order to solve this equation. Now, we will first find the effective annual rate of interest for each of the six months with their respective interest rate I. As I have stated just now, we already got I in the form of percentage for each of the four six months. So we have R0.016, R0.018, R0.020, and R0.022. And all these four, we will first calculate uh, their own effective rate of interest individually. So for the first six months, we got 0 0.0161. For the second six months, we get 0 0.0181. For the third six months, we have 0 0.0201. And for the final six months, we have 0 0.0221. All of these numbers, all of this, uh, all of this rate of interest, can now be used to find the effective annual rate of interest for the account itself. The main, at uh, the, the total, the average, uh, main effective annual rate of interest. So, in order to get that, we first have to total up all of the individual uh, six months of the interest rate. So first we have 0 0.0161 plus 0 0.0181 plus 0 0.0201 and plus 0 0.0221. From here, the answer that we get is 0 0.0764. And easy enough, we will just divide it by four in order to get the average rate of interest for this account. And we get 0 0.0191. And that is the effective annual rate of interest for the account, for this account in particular. 0 0.0191 can also be translated into 1.91%. Uh, you can, I, I can also write it at that way, but I would prefer to write it as uh, in this form, 0 0.0191. And that is, that is the answer for this question, 0 0.0191. And if we look back at the question, I have used all of the uh, keywords and all of the uh, information that the question gave me. I used the percentage that they gave. I used the date that they gave. And I managed to use it to find the effective annual rate of interest, which is the main uh, goal of this question. The, 
the thing that I have to find with this question. So with that, I have managed to successfully uh, find and finish the question in particular. I think that is all for me. Again, my name is Nick Haris Mustakim Ben Nick Maharis. My meter number is 207622. This is my individual assignment video for MTH 3701 Group 1. And the problem that was given to me was problem sheet 4, question number 6. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you. I'll see you guys in the future. Thank you very much.